Okay, this is a little bit different. I'm filming this video normally, but I'm also filming it for my second channel on the 360 camera itself. So you'll be able to check out what the quality of this review video is in 360. The links will be down in the description below. But with that said, it's tech quiz time. Hey guys, Jonathan here with Tech Quiz Time, where I create technology tutorial and review videos. And in this video, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm reviewing a 360 camera, normally, but in 360 as well. So you'll notice this little one right here, that's the 360 camera. So if you're seeing that on the 360, it's probably gonna feel a little bit weird, like I'm trying to go out and grab you. Anyway, <laughs> let's uh, have a look at this 360 camera, see what it can do and yeah, what the specs are. All right, so straight off the bat, this is the Wonder 360 C1 model. And we'll do a little bit of an unboxing while we're looking at this. Okay. So there it is there, the Wonder 360. Little silica gel in there as well. Okay, we've got a white box here. It comes with a really hefty instruction manual. So anything that you want to find out about the Wonder 360 C1 is actually in there. So awesome. And in the black box, we've got a wrist strap, micro USB to three and a half mil headphone jack. So I'm guessing that is to input audio and your standard micro USB charger cable. And I think as an extra gift, you get this cool little tripod sticker a microfiber cleaning cloth, I guess that's for the lenses on the front and back, and a nice little carry case, which is pretty cool. So one of the great things about this is that it's got the threading there to mount it to a tripod, just like that. So if you're out and about, you can actually have that sitting in some location while you're filming in 360. So one of the first things that I noticed about this is that it looks eerily similar to the Samsung Gear 360 camera. And I'm pretty sure if not exactly the same, it is pretty close. So in saying that it's got a lens on the front there and the or front there and a lens on the rear there. On the side here, we've got a menu button and then we've got the power button there. And underneath this flap here, we've got the micro SD card slot for storage and the micro USB port for charging or using the three and a half mil headphone jack, which is quite interesting, especially if you're hooking up an external microphone, you'd get pretty good audio quality out of it, I guess. Over to the other side, you've got here a Wi-Fi button, so you can hook that directly up and do live streaming and so forth in 360. It's pretty cool. So then on the front, you've got the record button right there, and you've also got a little LCD window to show you what mode you're actually on. So talking about modes, this will actually shoot in what they're calling 3K, which is 3040 by 1520 at 30 frames per second. Now, if you wanna get 60 frames per second out of this, you can and that's at the 2160 by 1080 resolution. So one thing to note here is the 2160 by 1080, basically that's your full resolution. So depending on where you look, as in, in the full 360, it's only gonna be 2160 wide. So the reason that I say that is if you think, okay, 1920 is the normal width of a 16 by nine video, and that's a flat straight on image. So if you think we can sort of see it about 120 degrees to 180, well, not 180, because we can't see out the side of our heads, but say 120 degrees. So if you think of it like that, you would need three times the resolution of width to be able to get that to a full 1080 image head on. So what I'm trying to say is that at 2160, that is going to be the full 360 degree width. So in essence, at the 60 frames per second, you're only gonna get around 720p quality, maybe a little bit less. So if you can, definitely shoot at the 3K resolution. So the video itself, what I'll do is I'll put it on screen now for the normal review. It's a square image. So basically you can see where everything is. I'm head on at the moment because I've got the camera directly in front of me. With the, I can see the record button and the display on the screen right now. So I can see down, it can see up, and it can see out to the sides and all around. Obviously in 360, you'd be looking slightly up at me. When shooting in 360, you are better off shooting from, I believe it's from the waist. So this is probably a good height right now. It may not be the best, but if you're watching this in 360, let me know down in the comments whether or not this was a good height or not. 
So it does have a built-in battery. It's a thousand milliamp hours, which is good for, they're saying about an hour's worth of video. So not the best. If you're taking this out on the go, you're better off having a USB battery bank to be able to charge this as quickly as possible. Now there is a microphone built in, but with that adapter that's in there, you will be able to get external microphones hooked up to this thing, which is great. So like I was saying before the Wi-Fi there, you can live stream to Facebook or YouTube. So if it's something that you're interested in doing a 360 live stream, then this one will be able to do that for you. It's got up to N and it's five gigahertz as well. So if you're pretty close to your router and you've got the, the five gigahertz stream there, then you should be able to stream it at pretty high quality. Unlike other 360 cameras out there, or there are some, not all of them, but all the stitching is done in camera. So you don't have to worry about having to do it in external software later on. But in saying that, they do have iOS and Android apps out there where you can rework the footage, I guess is the way to say it. You can change what angle or where, where the start position is of the camera itself. So say for example, if you're taking it out and about and you're moving around quite a bit, and you want to change the focus so that way someone who's watching it say not with a 360 goggles but with say just YouTube straight on then they'll be able to see where your focus point wanted to be. Say for example a, a huge whale jumps out of the water but you're looking at the camera you can change the position to the whale when you're ready. So you'll be able to see from the other channel what the quality of the video is and whether or not it's worth it and to be honest I, I've had a look at the quality and it's not too bad for around the $150 price tag that this camera has, it's not too bad. But in saying that, like I said, the whole resolution thing, it's not gonna be you know, 4K footage or anything like that. And a lot of the terms that they're using with 360 at the moment can be a little bit confusing. So just be aware, have a look at what the width of the actual video image is before saying, okay, yeah, it's 4K video because it may not be 4K video straight on. So, so one other thing as well, Wonder 360 actually did send these out to me for this review. So no money has exchanged hands and thoughts and opinions are definitely my own. So they haven't influenced anything in this video at all. Everything that I've said to you so far is my own opinion, especially talking about the resolution of the video itself. That's not something that most companies would want you to talk about. So this is my opinion. So with that said, links to this one are down in the description below if it's something that you're interested in yourself. Do you want to see more awesome technology gadget reviews and tutorials on this channel? Then make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you get notified of new content. Did you like this video? Then make sure you give it a big thumbs up and also consider checking out my Patreon campaign if you love what I'm doing here. You can help the community grow by sharing this video on social media platforms like Reddit or Facebook groups. And also don't forget to check out these other awesome videos that I've created and as always, imagine, learn, create.